Hvis jeg sier New York, hva tenker du på da, Martin? Da tenker jeg på en storby med masse butikker, masse rike folk, skyskrapere. Ja, New York er jo ikke bare glamour, da. Vi har nemlig vært der og besøkt to gutter som har bodd på gata i flere år. It's not cool. It's not, man. I wish I could go back into the past and tell myself that. I started running skis. I was, I was young. I was like, um, like, basically, it was when I was when I started when I started using. You know what I'm saying? When I started smoking marijuana. Um, like 13, 14. Like I was living with my father, but um, we didn't. Um, he never was really there. Regardless, like I was, I basically had my own apartment because he was like a workaholic. Because I wanted people to like me for who I was. I wanted to be popular and different, you know. And I thought all these bad things would make me different from everybody and popular, you know, and respected. And even though I, I didn't notice that I was popular before them things, you know, now that I look back, I see that. And when I started doing them things, I became unpopular. We did stupid stuff, you know. We, like, hurt innocent people, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know, if, like, we seen somebody out on the street that was vulnerable, you know, and, and like, he had something that we wanted, then we would rob him. These kids who come to our door and ask to come in voluntarily come from situations uh, where it is better for them not to go home or from situations where there no longer is a home. I stayed out in the street for like five or six years until it finally, you know, just got me to the point where I ended up in Covenant House and I'm, I'm here today trying to get my life together. The doors of Covenant House are always open. We are open 24 hours a day, every day in the year, and we have what we call open intake. That means any youngster who comes to the door and wants to come in may come in. You guys know about Covenant House? Oh, I know Covenant House, yeah. Yeah? yeah. You guys want a soda or something? A what? A soda? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what's your name? Bill. I'm John. Now I'm in Covenant House and they're trying to help me do good for my life. You know, there's no, I don't have to worry about people trying to hurt me here. You know, everybody, everything that everybody says to me, like the counselors and my peers are trying to help me. You know, they're trying to like guide me in the right step. You know what I mean? I used to blame everybody around me. You know, I used to be like, oh, it's my father's fault because he leaves me at home, you know, with no food in the refrigerator, you know, or, you know, I used to blame my mom as well. It's her fault because she had another kid or some, you know, everybody but myself, you know, it was, it was really my own fault. When I came in here, I was the bad boy, you know, supposedly. You know, yeah, you can't mess with me. What you, what you think? You know, but it wasn't cool. And they let me know that. You know, they told me I don't have to be like that, you know, because that's not cool to them. So I started really showing who I was. I let down the image, you know, the being cool and saying the right thing. I let them see who I really was, and they like me for that now. If I was thinking about my goals instead of the drugs, you know, I probably would have been able to accomplish that, you know. Could have been a singer today, I don't know. to make that choice to help someone know that it will be a choice that will shine forever. You see, I was lost, but now I'm fine. I was blind, but now I'm fine. Everyone has both food, clothes, and clothes. But it's not a self-help in New York, not in the third world, and not in Sweden either.